Hello, and welcome to the lab. The lab is uh, where myself and Callie, we create uh, wood products, jewelry, uh, laser cutting, sublimation. It's something we're getting into, and that's the purpose of this video, is we are going to uh, do an unboxing of a swing design. So what we have is a 15 by 15 swing design uh, press. And this is the first time we've ever tried this, so we're all gonna go on a journey together. So let's start unboxing. Got a knife here. We'll just start cutting this cardboard away. Now we ordered this uh, earlier this week direct from the uh, company, super fast shipping. sheet here. And of course, uh, lots of styrofoam. We'll just kick that off to the side. Alright. Now comes the fun part. Things are a little heavier than it looks, but it's not terrible. So I'm just going to tip this up. As you can see, it's uh, teal colored. Check the box. I don't believe there's anything else in there. All right, we'll just kick that off to the side. And we'll take this plastic off. All right, so all right, we're going to give you a little close up. As you can tell, this is a, a teal color, and got a digital display up here. Got your handle, lifts that up, and it works, you know. Pretty good distance under here, but this also has uh, the pull-out desk or tray, so that way you're not uh, you can put your material on here without hovering underneath the heat. So that's nice. And that slides in. I think that's what they said. That makes this uh, the pro model versus the regular model with the pull-out tray. Comes with the heating mat already with it. All right, now let's uh, let's get it into place. All right, now we have it in place. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and turn it on for the first time and see what happens. Well, that's a good sign. We got power. And we've got the settings here. the bed opened up. It's heating up now. Let's see it or not, but 
we're going to set it for 385 and then we're going to just go up to 60 seconds very loud looks like to change settings there's a, a set up arrow down arrow and a reset so you'll hit your set and then whatever your heat you want that at that'll blink use your up and down arrows to set that to your desired temp and then you've got to hit set and hold it and that'll lock it in and then you do the same thing with your time you uh, Hit your set until your time gets highlighted, it'll blink, and then you go up or down on your time, get to where you want it, like I, I set this one at 60, and then you hit set, and then you hold it, and then from there, then it's just a waiting game. So we'll see how long it takes to uh, heat up. So it's been roughly, oh let's see, it's only been about four minutes, we're up to 236 so 240 so it heats up fairly fast I mean it the the manual says it may take up to 20 minutes but just for safety uh, throw this out there that while this thing is heating up I mean you can put your hand here you can feel that it gets it's warm so if you have any kids or pets or anybody that shouldn't be around it make sure you're you know you pay attention to that because you could get burned pretty easy so, while we're waiting for the uh, heat press to warm up, uh, like I said, this is going to be a new venture for Kelly and I. And if you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share, we'd be more than happy to hear them. Also, if you want to learn about sublimation and you want to take the trip along with us and we can all kind of learn this thing together, go ahead and like the page and follow us as well. And we'll try to get as much new content up as possible. Great. It's been about 11 minutes and we're up to 374. We're going to see if it gives us a, a warning beep or anything when it reaches temperature. So find it out that, so I had it set for 385, but I got to 381 and it just stalled out and just kind of stayed there. And it's been almost 20 minutes. So I, I bumped the heat up to 390. And then now it's heating back up. So we're at 384 now. So now I'm going to see if I bump that down. See if there's any kind of alarm or you know notification to say, hey, we're at 385. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it just gets the temperature and then it just holds it. So, all right. I've got the manual here. I'm just going to kind of go over some specs for this machine. Um, so it's uh, like I said, it's a swing design in the teal color, so 15 by 15 inch plate. Uh, it's your regular uh, in US 110 volt. Now it says it'll go from 0 to 480 for your temperature range. And then heating time is 5 to 15 minutes. It took me a little bit longer, but 20 minutes, so not crazy. And then the timer range is 0 to 499 seconds. So. That's that, and then hopefully, like I said, in the next couple days, we'll get some projects on it and see how they work out. Like I said, it'll be our first time, kind of excited. Uh, I've got a lot of photography pictures that I take that I want to see how well they sublimate on, on wood and canvas, uh, mugs. Uh, we'll only find out, so we're going to try. All right, thanks for tuning in.